There's a reason why they call him the franchise. Tyrese Maxey saved the Sixers season in incredible fashion, hitting a half-court clutch three-pointer, a logo three-pointer, to send Game 5 into overtime. All this after hitting a four-point play all in under 30 seconds left with the Sixers being down six points. A playoff career high for the fifth-year guard out of Kentucky. Absolutely insane. But let's get the main stuff out of the way. And Embiid sold, period. Once again, Joel Embiid sold that game with shaving points, period. Like, I know he is injured, but nine turnovers is not cutting it in an elimination game. I do not care about the triple-double, to be honest, because he's supposed to do that as a team's MVP, as a league's MVP. I counted about eight to nine times during the game where he killed momentum dead in its tracks, mainly with stupid passes. I would give him the injury excuse because he, he actually played the whole game, if you peep, Paul Reed and Mo Bamba was nowhere to be found, but it is the same things every single year over and over again. We get into an elimination game. We are down two games, series on the line. And during the game that matters most, homie pouts and spreads his negative energy to the rest of the team. I am sick of it, yo. Screw it. Last night was the official night that one, Tyrese Maxey took the keys from the big fella, and two, Tyrese Maxey became my favorite player in the association. Moving forward for the rest of the series and beyond, I want the ball in Tyrese Maxey's hands. I have been asking this forever. He now needs to have the 1B offensive duties. Literally saw myself a couple of times cringing when Embiid got the ball last night at MSG. If he's not right because of his Bell's palsy, because of his knee, which he clearly isn't right, get the ball out of his hands and let him do the dirty work. To which, I'm going to give him credit for, he did. There's a reason why he still got that triple-double. There's a reason why he really gave his all come overtime. Because you know damn well in the back of his head, he was thinking, I right, yo, like, I draw. If I do not anchor this at the end, I am going to get massacred. But going back to my main point, I would rather go down with Maxi as the main offensive fulcrum, knowing he is giving his all than anything else at this point. Last night, Last night, in all the glory that we saw, those are championship-type moments. Champion-type moments. Backs are literally against the wall. It is over. We are down six points with 30 seconds left. On the road, what the hell are you going to do? And the franchise delivers. Anyway, the series goes back to Philly on Thursday with a chance at the Sixers tying it up 3-3. The odds are we will not win the next two, but at the very least, we got a shot if it is indeed the beginning of the end, I am satisfied with how it proceeded. Regardless, Tyrese Maxey is him. Pay that man in the offseason. Give him the damn ball. Build around him. We never win those type of games that occurred last night. Never. I know Joel is the current MVP of the league who anchors both our offense and defense, but there is a reason why it is called the Max and Joe Show.